if you don't mind, I already started without you because there's a lot of material that has to come up here. For the moment, I'm working on the frame. To make it myself a bit easier, first I square up this part of the ram. So I need 15 by 15 millimeters. It will make it easier to put it in the forge out chuck in the lathe to make this round here. It happens sometimes that people tell me that I'm running the shaper very fast, faster than usual. Well, no, that isn't true. For the moment, I'm taking roughing cuts. Yeah? This is very soft steel, almost gummy. And I'm using a high speed steel cutting tool. The ideal cutting speed for roughing out in uh, soft steel with high speed steel cutting tool is between 20 and 25 meters a minute. For the moment I'm running my machine at 100 strokes a minute. The stroke length is marked here is 115 so about here somewhere we go to this line so I'm working on a cutting speed of about 18 meters a minute. I could speed it up with my VFD. You know what? Let's do that. The numbers are maybe a bit small to show you, but now it's running at 50 Hz, so 100 strokes a minute. Let's bump it up a bit. Cutting speed a little over 20 meters a minute. Still not enough. I left the part a little bit oversized, both sides, and way too long, so I have some bozo space if uh, I need to. Now let's take this thing here apart. Oh. This round here. 120, that's 12 millimeters and 5. I was wasting my time here getting my part centered in the late and I couldn't get it right and now I figured out why when I rotate my shaft here there's almost one tenth of run out of course let's make this centering shaft less efficient but when I hold it I think we're getting somewhere. That's good. There's a little bit of a problem, I think, with this chuck. Not with the chuck, but with the jaws. When you see the part here, here are bite marks and here aren't. Yeah. Turn around, same. Turn around, same here, not here. Same here, not here. These jaws are a bit out, like this. Yeah. So I think they can use a regrind, but I'm not gonna do that now. Now I'm building 
a shaper and I'm not grinding the chuck. There are two dovetails I have to make. This one is 60 degree and the one on top here for the tool slide is 50 degrees. Now I'm sure there's a very good reason why this one is 50 and the other one 60 but I don't get it. Don't know why. To make it myself a bit easier this one I think I'm gonna cut it at 45. It will be a bit easier to work make the tool slide system. Yeah? To be able to see what I'm gonna do it should be good if I could install the workpiece like this and then cut this dovetail, the small one here on top. Of course there's absolutely no rigidity in this direction. But if I can put it down here in this opening, that could work. Now of course there's this block in the way from the vise, it's gonna pinch it. So if I use this one, which is square, put my part in here and square it up with the little machine square, that could work. Well, seems to work. This steel is so gummy it left a terrible burr here. All this side is bended up and this side is also bent up. To make this little dovetail I only used the dials of the machine. And I see now it's a little bit off. Because there is a bit of a problem. When I set this dial to zero, yeah, lock it in, start turning, you see, that's not good. So this is something to take care of one of these days. That's important. To cut this dovetail I use the cutting tool in fact in the wrong direction. There's not really a wrong direction for a cutting tool but as you can see normally this one cuts left to right and now I'm cutting right to left. But it works. I just flip the part around to cut the other side of the dovetail. Looks good over here, just touch the sharpie mark, but it's not really a cut, so that's good. piece of wood here that stick in my finger. 
Now that the shaper is set at 45 degrees for this uh, dovetails, I think it's a good time to make first the dovetail in this part. It will be easier to do and then after I will make the round. I'm gonna do this in different steps. First I have a little pointy tool here. In fact this is my thread cutting tool for the lathe. I'm gonna dig in two millimeter. After that I'm gonna use this one and make the slot, in fact it's a, it's a slot, make it at 12 millimeter so that the ram will plunge in it. If that goes I'm gonna make the dovetail at 45 degrees. So first plunge in with this little pointy thing because this little shaper doesn't like plunge cuts and especially with this one it's uh, really too wide for it. Up a bit. Straight groove is finished, so if I turn the ram upside down, this fits really well in here. It's a little bit of wheel, which is perfect. Let's start the dovetail. I'm really having a hard time cutting this little dovetail here because as you can see I need lots of tool stick out. Now this is the same 2 mm blade and it's very flexible. There is no video footage of it because uh, I would like to see what I'm doing and if the camera is in the way I can't. So I made a new one. This used to be my thread cutting tool, now it's a bit less than 45 degrees. Let's install this and see what happens. Almost a little bit more. I think we're getting somewhere. That's really a nice fit. It's a bit a uh, sketchy setup, but I suppose uh, it's not the first time it happens. I'm gonna start making this rounding here. Now this circle thing here is a bit higher than the highest spot on the ram. So first I'm gonna cut in this direction to make an opening and after I'm gonna turn the part to make to create this old rounding here. 
if it works. Let's bump it up a bit. Yeah, right. This top surface is now finished. Now I'm gonna try to make it round. Of course, I will have to touch it with a file afterwards. This is gonna be it. Time to do some hand filing. Use the bell sender to be the right here. And here's the result. To make this little ram, I'm not gonna hide to you that it was a little bit of a challenge. You know, all these outside things, no problem. But these minuscule dovetails with a cutting tool that's flexing that's not a good idea. Now, after when I used the rigid cutting tool, no problem, it worked as a dream. But in the beginning, it was not really easy. So, this is it for this time. I enjoyed very much making this, and I hope you enjoyed watching.